Hi, I'm Don Wolf, and I love jazz, the program that celebrates jazz in all of its forms. In this edition of Rising Stars, we introduce you to a young musician who has taken the music of years gone by, stride piano, to a whole new level. St. Louis's own Stephanie Trick is one of the few young female stride pianists to master this demanding style of jazz piano. Well, I feel like this is my calling, and if my heart is in this music, it doesn't matter if I'm a young girl or not, I feel like that's where my passion lies. I started playing the piano when I was five. I was with my family in a hotel here in St. Louis, and we saw a pianist playing background music in the lobby. I was completely captivated by, by the playing. So I went up to her and asked if she gave lessons, and she became my teacher for the next 13 years. My parents never pushed me to play music. It always came from me. And when I was younger, I practiced about an hour a day, and now I practice up to eight hours a day. As a classically trained pianist, it was in high school that Stephanie discovered her true passion. In 2006, I was invited to perform at the West Coast Ragtime Festival in Sacramento, California. This is the biggest ragtime festival in the world, and I had a chance to play some of the pieces I was working on, and also hear stride piano played live, and that was a life-changing experience for me because there's nothing so spectacular and moving for me than to see stride piano because it's such a virtuosic, orchestral, and at the same time very joyous type of music. Stride piano is a technically and physically demanding style that developed from ragtime. Ragtime was more of a conservative style of music that developed in the Midwest around the turn of the century. And then 20 years later in Harlem, Pianists started playing what became known as stride piano, which describes the movement of the left hand as it strides rapidly over the keys to hit the lower bass notes. It takes a lot of desire to play this music because there's so much precision required and you're, what the left hand is doing is really the work of two people. Classical training gave me the technique needed to play this demanding style of music but there's nothing that can substitute for listening a great deal to all the recordings of the great piano masters like James P. Johnson and Fats Waller. And by listening, you can imbibe the feel and the swing of this music. Hard work and perseverance have led to success, yet she is grateful to those that have mentored her and helped her to find a place in classic jazz. These musical inspirations to me, these people who I look up to are such wonderful people and they have all in their own way taken me under their wing like Rossano Sportiello and Louis Mazetier and it's been really a treat for me to get to know them and to learn from them. Just as she has learned from others, Stephanie appreciates the importance of continuing to share her music with the younger generation. I have enjoyed sharing this music with school children and I feel like it's a very important thing to have them exposed to ragtime and jazz and, and stride piano because that's how I got started with it and if other kids hear it they can continue to develop an appreciation for it as they get older and I plan to spend all of my time being a professional musician. Stephanie has performed all over the United States as well as in Europe Yet a recent performance at the Sheldon Concert Hall was one of the highlights of her young career. It's a chance to share what I've been doing across the country and in Europe with my friends in St. Louis. 